This week, News Channel 5 is partnering with the News Literacy Project, a nonpartisan educational nonprofit formed to help you spot misinformation in the media. And yeah, we've been bringing you reports on how to spot fact from fiction in the midst of a flood of misinformation. And tonight, our investigative reporter Ben Hall talks with our Jennifer Krause about the role public records play in reliable reporting. And this shocking police video shows a Lewisburg police officer arresting a 10-year-old girl. Stand back up. Stand up. It only became public after a public records request by News Channel 5. I my hand, I was holding my hand, it just kind of... The same is true for this police video, showing Metro Councilman Jonathan Hall right after he rear-ended this woman's car. You find it? I'm having to go and put in all my information since I didn't have the card with me. Okay. The video shows him assuring the officer at the scene of the crash that he had car insurance, but it turns out he did not. Public records were crucial in this story because we had a couple coming and telling us that, you know, there had been an accident involving Metro Councilman Jonathan Hall. News Channel 5's investigative reporter Jennifer Krause requested the video from police after the woman Hall crashed into said Hall was not paying for repairs and did not have car insurance. And not only did we have that video to really tell the story, but we were able to essentially be there on the scene watching to see what happened and to see exactly what Metro Councilman Jonathan Hall said and did at the scene of the accident. Don't do it again. I'm sorry. Okay. We're back to that. I'm sorry, no. News Channel 5 discovered the video showing the arrest of the 10-year-old girl only after reviewing the disciplinary history of a police officer involved in the death of a man at the Marshall County Jail. Yeah, public records are critical to understanding what our government is doing. Media lawyer Paul McAdoo says all types of public records are critical for holding government officials accountable. Without them, you really only get what government wants you to hear and know. McAdoo says it's getting harder and harder to get public records. Lawmakers have written more than 500 exemptions to the public records laws. Some make sense, like protecting juveniles, as we did when the 10-year-old was arrested. Others are more questionable. The attorney general has said lawmakers' emails are exempt and cannot be obtained. Lawmakers keep adding new exemptions. It's getting harder. Every year the legislature puts in new ones, with, and they rarely take any out. He was not returning our calls or our emails. Or Jennifer Krause said she started looking into Councilman Jonathan Hall after voters in his district used public records to try and see who donated to his campaign. Those public records are available online. Anybody can check and see any elected official who is giving them money. Her first report showed he received thousands of dollars in campaign contributions, but had not listed who gave him the money or how he spent it, as is required by law. Uh, reports were not filed when they should have been, and so that raised a whole lot of questions. Jonathan Hall, case number C21-04. Following Jennifer's reporting, state regulators fined Hall $360,000 after he did not attend a required hearing to explain his campaign finances. While some public records are available online, others require a written request. Government agencies have the right to charge for the time it takes to produce the documents. Sometimes those charges can be high. Yes, I've seen exorbitant costs. Um, things like extensive email searches, video that needs to be reviewed. Those are two of the two prime examples of when costs balloon. But the way around those high costs is to ask to personally inspect the records. That's free. Charges come if you ask for copies. Public records are for everyone not just reporters. Reporters use them to investigate things and tell stories, but they are specifically there for the public. So a lot of information there, but the bottom line, if you wanna know how government is working, we have to maintain access to public records, not just for reporters, but for everyone. Ben Hall, News Channel 5, investigates.